Hi everyone, Nat from Studio Hacks here, and I am going to show you how you can export stems from GarageBand on the Mac. I have an old video on this, but this is a new one in 2020, and it's going to be a bit simpler and a bit quicker. Uh, if you don't know what stems are, that means that you are exporting each individual track as its own audio file instead of exporting a sum of the tracks, which is just a bounce out of the master track. So Logic, Ableton Live, Pro Tools, the professional digital audio workstations have easy automatic ways to do this. GarageBand is not a professional door, it's an entry level door. So if we want to do some of these things, um, we have to use workarounds. So I'm going to show you the easiest, quickest way to do this. So if you watch the previous video, you'll know that I was showing you how to mix this trap dark style trap beat in GarageBand. And now I want to export each individual track because I'm popping this up on BeatStars. Hopefully some artists will rent this out um, or like a lot of my tracks get bought out exclusively. And they always want me to deliver them the stems because they're going to take them into their own studio and record their vocals over it, whatever. And they want each individual track. So first of all, the first thing, really important, create a folder on your desktop with the name of the song and stems. Um, I've already done that. Now go through and name your individual tracks with a 01 underscore, 02 underscore. I'm going to go through and finish that right now. I'm going to pause the video while I do that. This makes the file management a ton easier. I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, we're back. I've named them drums, bass, up one, two, and three. That just stands for arpeggiator. You could write lead line or whatever. Uh, there's a crowd noise, vocal sample, and then any rises or strange things, usually called effects. That's the normal parlance in producer world, effects one, effects two, effects three, if it's a riser or a sweep or anything like that. So now I want to, I'm going to have to, the only way to do this is to go through each track and I want these all to be exactly the same length. And I'm going to solo each track and I'm going to export this as a stereo audio file. Then I'm going to have to go through each one and just export them one by one. So I'm going to solo this to make sure they are all exactly the same length, which is super important. Make sure you have your cycle region, which is this button here, set all the way to zero. So you can, you can change the boundaries of that all the way to the left. And then I have actually got a fade out on my master track. If I, I just hit a then to find the automation, I've done a volume fade out and the end of my cycle region is bang on that fade out. So we're not going to be able to export the effects separately or anything like that, like you can do in the other doors. This is the best we can do for the moment. If you really want, you can actually go to your master track, um, go to the effects tab, and you can just switch off um, all of the effects for all the tracks. You can just turn the volume all the way down on the master echo and the master reverb if you want and then you'll get a really dry export of all the stems so i'm going to go uh, now and you just want to make sure under preferences um, and under advanced make sure this is not ticked export projects at full volume we don't want to do that we just want them at the volume that they're at. This is going to try and add some extra gain or normalization to them. We do not want that ticked. I also have 24 bits, so you get the highest quality audio. And I'm simply going to go share. And then I'm going to go export to disk. Now, this is just going to be the drums. So when you export the song to disk, you choose the folder, so the dark matter stems. I always choose AIFF or WAVE. They are essentially the same thing. Uncompressed, and you have to have a tick here, export cycle area or length of selected regions. This is going to export the cycle area, so every stem is going to be exactly the same length. Now I just give this the name of my first track, 01 Drums, because this is the drums soloed, and I hit Export. That's going to then export um, a stereo stem of the drums. Um, a lot of these will have stereo information in them. 
So I know that this is not completely ideal from a mixing or a music producer standpoint, but this is the best we're going to get. If you if you if you're going to be mixing this or you want to send some mixing notes, you can pan all the tracks to the center and you can normalize the volume to zero on all of them if you want. But I just want to export this so that when they drag in all these stems into whatever door they're using, it's going to sound pretty much like my finished track. And then they can just do some little tweaks. So you'll see here that we got drums here. I'm going to play that. So that's my drums. Now I'm going to go through, turn this one off and solo the bass. I'm going to go file, share, export song to disk. Then I'm going to just click on that and I'm just going to change it to to bass. So then do the same thing. It's going to just have the same settings. We're just going to change the name. I'm going to export that. Now just to show you that these are going to be the same length. I'm going to go through right now and I'm going to export. See, it's a little bit of a laborious process, especially if you've got like 30 tracks or something. This isn't going to be too bad. This will probably take me five minutes because I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more tracks to go. I'll pause the video when I'm done and I'll join back with you. I've finished my stems here. I'm going to make a copy of it because I'm going to drag these into Ableton Live and show you what I mean. Like if the other, if you're sending these stems through to someone else and they're using a, a different digital audio workstation, chances are they're using a professional one. So I should, if I've done this right, every file size is going to be exactly the same because with audio, the file size is uh, tied to how long the file is and what sample rate and bit depth you've used. So that's a good indication I've got this right, but I want to show you a visual indication um, that I've done this correctly. So let's just pop these all into Ableton and then this should now all line up. And when I play this, this should be my song. I don't think I have Ableton routed to your ears, but I should just, I'll quickly listen. Perfect. That's all lined up and we've got the drums, the bass, and that's why we ordered it with a 01, 02, 03, because then when they drag it in and drop it, it'll be super easy. So this is the stems folder here. It's simple um, 10 tracks, stereo audio files that I'll upload um, to BeatStars. And then if somebody purchases my track exclusively, I'll probably just send them this folder directly through Dropbox or Hightail or something like that. So that's how you export stems uh, in GarageBand. I hope you found that one useful. Make sure that you drop a like and a subscribe. And if anything in this video confused you, pop in a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.